What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Trevor Bryan versus Daniel Dubois and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the WBA Heavyweight World Championship and this fight is going to be Saturday June 11th from the Casino Miami in Miami, Florida and this fight is going to be broadcasted on Fight TV and to get both fighters resumes, Trevor Bryan fighting out of the United States Holds a record of 22 wins with no defeats and 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 41 by BoxRec and is the current WBA Heavyweight World Champion. And to list some of his best victories, he has a unanimous decision win over Derek Rossi, a knockout win over BJ Flores, a knockout win over Berman Stavern, and he also has a split decision victory over Jonathan Guidry. And to get his opponent's resume, Daniel Dubois, fighting out of England, holds a record of 17 wins with one defeat and 16 big wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 26 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division. He's also the former interim WBA heavyweight world champion, and his title got removed since the WBA did remove all interim titles. But to list his one and only defeat, it came by knockout in a competitive fight against Joe Joyce where his eye swelled up and he was not able to continue. And to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over Nathan Gorman, a knockout win over Bogdan Dinu, and he also has a first-round KO win over Joe Cusimano. And in my opinion, this fight is going to go easily in favor of the challenger, Daniel Dubois. The thing with Trevor Bryan is, I've always been talking about how he's just not, he's just not a real champion. I know the WBA regular title is obviously a world title, but I mean, he did not deserve um, really to have this belt, I mean, um, he really didn't beat anyone for it, I don't know how it got into his hands, but I mean, finally, someone's going to knock it out of his hands, but, um, yeah, he faced BJ Flores in, like, 2018, um, for the interim title, won the interim title, obviously, even though somehow he faced BJ Flores, who was a blown up and past his prime cruiserweight, he got that win there, and then he didn't fight till... From 2018, he didn't fight until 20, I think it was early 2021, when he faced um, Berman Stavern. And, um, yeah, he was really just, in those, like, three years where he was out, uh, he was, like, or two and a half years when he was out, and he was just really trying to get uh, Manuel Char stripped, and that's ultimately what happened, and then he faced Berman Stavern, obviously, for that WBA title. So, um, I don't know how he's facing Stavern, I don't know how he faced Stavern for that belt, because Stavern obviously was past his prime and didn't really have any notable wins. Same with BJ Flores, and the same is with even in his last fight when he defended his title against Jonathan Guidry. That just makes no sense because Guidry just came in there randomly and had no wins over credible opponents. So, um, yeah, it's just a really weird thing with Trevor Bryan. I mean, he's very inactive, uh, really just tried, or really just hasn't beaten anyone that notable, and he was really trying to fight Manuel Char on multiple occasions, the fight ultimately did not materialize, but maybe the winner of this fight could take him on, but, um, yeah, I mean, Daniel Dubois, uh, the opponent here, um, the challenger, he's a much better fighter, we've seen throughout both their careers, much better fighter, much more power, um, very composed fighter, I mean, he showed that he could bang with some of the top guys, I know he got stopped by Joe Joyce, but, um, he still was in that fight and, and, and most likely ahead. Uh, my scorecard, I had him ahead. And then I think on two of the three judges, he was also ahead as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, Dubois, very, very good young fighter. I think he's only maybe like 24 or 25 years old. Um, and I think although he's got a loss, he's still going to rise to the occasion in this one uh, and easily, easily be able to stop Trevor Bryan. Trevor Bryan... I mean, he's arguably not even inside the top 50. Uh, when he came back to face Berman Severn, he was completely out of shape, and here he's also still out of shape at, like, 260 pounds. Um, I remember when he was fighting, like, BJ Flores and such, he only weighed, like, 225 pounds. Like, he was very slim, very fit, very athletic. But, I mean, when he took that layoff ever since winning that interim title, it really has messed up his physique um, to date. So, um, yeah, how I see this fight going down... I think, really, Daniel Dubois is going to go out guns blazing, come forward, and really just try and stop Trevor Bryant early, and I think we're going to see that. Uh, I think Trevor Bryant 
is not really much of a threat. He doesn't really have much power. And I know he's been talking a lot, a lot of trash going into this fight. Uh, and he's been disrespecting Daniel Dubois and such. But, I mean, it's just the funny thing is he's going to get absolutely obliterated in this fight. It's no question. Um, so, um, yeah, I think that the first four rounds, or the first three rounds will prove that Daniel Dubois is just at a much, much different level than Dubois, or than, um, Brian. I think that he will come forward on Brian, um, really trying to break him down, uh, with big headshots. I don't really see Daniel Dubois going to the soft body of Trevor Bryan, but I see him going to the head, head hunting here with big straight rights, um, big hooks as well, really trying to break him down, uh, and really just soften him up to get a knockout. So, um... After the first three rounds, I see the fight being 30 to 27, maybe even 30 to 26 if a knockdown's able to be scored, uh, all in favor of Daniel Dubois. And then from rounds four and on, uh, up until round eight, I could see Dubois getting a stoppage. And I don't think that he might go to eight, but it could if, D if Trevor Bryan is durable. But yet again, we have never seen Trevor Bryan's chin tested because he has not faced a fighter that has power. Um, to really hurt anyone in the heavyweight division. So I think anywhere from rounds 4 to rounds 8, uh, I could see Daniel Dubois getting stoppage victory. It could be a standing stoppage, it could be a brutal knockout, whatever. It will go down as a stoppage or a knockout, obviously, on Daniel Dubois' resume. And he will be 18-1 with 17 knockouts, and he will be the new WBA heavyweight world champion. So comment down below your thoughts on this fight, your thoughts on who you think is obviously going to win, whether it's Brian or... Um, Dubois and who you think the winner uh, will face in their next fight. So overall, I believe that Trevor Bryan will lose his WBA world title as I think that Daniel Dubois will be able to get a stoppage victory and improve his record to 18-1 and with 17 knockouts and I think that the stoppage will happen from rounds 4 to rounds 8. And again, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.